All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Trainer Brent. Uh, today, I'm coming at you with another trainer tip. This one is going to be on good mornings. Now, if you've ever taken a class with me before, you will also hear me refer to these as bows. Um, I'm going to be doing these without weight. You can use weight, and I'll show you that option at the end. But we're going to start by talking through the movement first. We're going to talk form. I'm going to talk what I want is what I want you to see with the movement and what I want you to feel with the movement. And then I'll show you where you can hold on to some weight and how you can make those movements a little bit more challenging as you feel like you can progress yourself comfortably. Beautiful. So good morning. Good morning is going to be for the glutes and for the low back and to a lesser extent some of the hamstrings. So you're really working kind of the, the posterior, the back, the glutes, and the hamstrings. And the good morning really truly looks like this. You're going to bring your arms up. You can bring them high. If you have some limitations in those joints, that's totally fine. Just bring those arms up. You're going to lengthen the knees, and this is the key. I want you to keep those legs nice and long. So don't let them bend. Keep them locked out. This is one of the rare times where I will tell you I do want you to lock out those joints, and you're literally going to bow and come on up. Now, this movement is all about keeping the back flat. So that's why you bring the arms up and pinch the shoulder blades back together because I really want you focused on keeping that back nice and flat. So keep the back flat. You're going to push the butt back and come on up. So if you've ever done a deadlift before, this is similar. You're working kind of that same muscle group, stabilizing the back, so the entire core is being worked because you're trying to keep your back flat. You're going to work glutes a little bit, and you're going to work those hamstrings. So again, you come down. Now when you come down to this part of the movement, what I want you to feel is I want you to feel a little stretch in the back of your thighs. So you should feel those muscles stretching. You're going to use those same muscles to pull you up. Bow forward. And pull up. Now one thing I want to note with this movement, note the head and neck. I'm kind of looking up at you a little bit. That's because I'm trying to make sure that, that I'm uh, nice and centered to the video camera. But I want you to focus on just keeping that head in line with the whole body. So as you come down, you're going to find your look, your gaze, is coming down to the floor along with your torso, and then you're coming back up. So a whole, imagine you're hinging, hinge at like a door. So your hip is a hinge, you're bowing down, and you're coming up. Really focus on form on this one, team. Really be mindful of keeping that entire back nice and flat, nice and safe. Now, if you want to add a little bit of weight into the equation, no worries. Grab a single light to medium dumbbell. Start light first. Remember, you can always go heavier if you have the weights. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just practice the movement with us. Let's do 10 of these. So, the dumbbell can be up in the chest like so. Bow down and come up. Just like that. So let's go for 10 of them right now. Come down. And up for one. Down. And up for two. Down. Up for three. Down. Up for four. Down. Up for five. Down. Up for six, down, up for seven, down, up for eight, down, up for nine, down, and up for ten. Nice work. So this is a great movement to really focus on good core stability and to work your hamstrings, even if you're not using any kind of dumbbells at all. Um, so practice that movement. Again, if you have any questions, please shout out to me. Please shout out to Jen. I'm always more than happy to, uh, to field any and all questions you have. But in the meanwhile, you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you.